hello viewers this is dr rana and today in this video i am going to explain you that how you can use a zotero for citation in the microsoft world in my earlier video i have already explained you the uh, bibtech for word package and uh, this may be zotero may be a very good alternative if you are using the word only but for the bibtech for word option uh, the jabroff is file is constructed which you you can use in both latex and the word so if you are work only in the microsoft office so i suggest you to go for the zotero so what is the uh, link for zotero you can directly go to this website www.zotero.org you can download this so uh, i am using i am recommending you to go for the standalone version or if you are using firefox or this safari or chrome the for all of three the uh, this browser uh, this can work uh, with the browser extension you can click on this so when you click on this you can see that this file has been downloaded so i have already been uh, downloaded this file so i can go for this yeah so i can install this so after extracting this file will be installed and you can see that uh, icon of uh, standalone as a arrow will be uh, on your desktop yeah extracting so you wait for a while So the Zotero is now been installed. So you can go for the standard work software, but still, uh, it's a very powerful software for work with the Microsoft Office. Yeah, this is finished with. Then you can see that the Zotero standard icon is now ready. Yeah, you can just click on this icon. You need it. So when you click on this, this Chrome connector you want it because you can see that here there is option for the Chrome connector. Just click on it. Connector you have to. Add to the Chrome. This is the actual extension for the Chrome. Yet once you click it, you can see here there is new extension will be added, and this is very important uh, to include in your this Chrome. Otherwise, uh, this extension uh, really helps to uh, to import the citation to the uh, to your Zotero library. So it is now been installing and adding. Yeah. So this is now. Uh, you can see that this arrow connector has been added to the chrome so this connector will really help you to import the citation so this is all about uh, the installation now i directly go to the this arrow library and uh, wish to include some uh, citations for this so i can close this yeah the arrow download is okay so now what i wish so my wish is that uh, i want the icon here in the arrow so if it is not shown no problem you can just close this and you can open the file again so you can see that this file the arrow icon will now on your yeah this tab is now in this now you have to use this to include the citation so i have already used the same uh, references for the arin for the bibtech package so i can uh, use the same zotero for this so bangirno paper i want so i don't have uh, the jabref data uh, to use so i what i wish i wish to go to import this bangirno paper and this kustif and neil paper to just cite on this so you can go for the scholar.google yeah scholar google so i can go to the directly this paper so if you know the title this is okay but if you know the author's name then also it's okay so you can go to the bonvino paper yeah this paper is this so you can click on this so i have make sure that your file is this file is open when you are importing the database so you can see that here is uh, the option when you click on this it will automatically the entire information of this paper will automatically saves to this save to this library when i click on this yeah i'm clicking this you can see that saving to my library so if you go for this yeah this information is now been included so you need not to uh, go to type anything to write anything to copy anything you just click this connector will help you to import the database so okay i'll uh, okay with this paper and uh, next paper which i wish to include is the paper by kusev and neil the paper is on the national convention so i can just copy this title 
if I wish to this uh, if you already know the uh, paper link you can definitely go this but uh, is the paper so I can open this so this is uh, for the yeah this is also paper no no issues you can just uh, go for this click when this sign is changes to uh, you can see that you can see this sign yeah now you can import this click on this saving to the library when you see the library yeah your next paper is now been included so this is paper by Kosov and Neil so this is an interesting thing you need not to be write anything just import this by just clicking even you can import the book news news or anything any database you can include this so now the another option is that how you can cite this since you have already included uh, everything in your uh, this library so i am including only two papers this is sufficient for me to explain you that i can just go to this document preference so in which is that there are several formats are available most of you are using the elsewhere format i typically format i can go for this you can add more formats so styles is is up to you so uh, i am using i triple format i can click ok so now everything is will be included in the i triple format when you go to this when you click on this you can see that this option is been it's a tarot option is been and the citation icon when you see that the citation icon is here so whatever you wish to search is available here if you know the author's name so you can just write bu yeah this paper this is suggesting the paper if there are number of paper with the same name it will suggest is all so i wish to click this and press enter the citation is already been included similarly if i go this i can add citation yeah so another way is that if you don't know the name you can go for the classical viewer this file is already been included and you can go for the paper directly so there are many ways so, and last one is the references so you wish to include the references you just press this insert bibliography yeah you can see that this is the high triple e format also edit add and remove references and if you change the preferences like if you want to this elsewhere or so you can click ok so it will automatically change you can see that the citation style is changed and this and similarly you can go for any so nature style is most of you are using submission by so this is important you can click on this it will automatically changes to the nature style so there are many other features are uh, you can go with the you can search uh, internet for the Zotero but uh, for the in the next video I can explain you the more so if you like this video just go and subscribe my channel scientific Rana for more upcoming video so have a nice